What's happening, gamers? Welcome to the next part of the of the discussion here. Sorry for the delay. This whole little series of videos has taken longer than I would have liked. I uh, did mention this in the first part, but I had to like re-record some of it, so me mentioning this got cut out. But yeah, it has taken longer than I would have liked simply because I had to download all this uh, shit like the, the new Doom Edition. Ooh, surprise, surprise, clever girl. The new uh, Doom 2016 or whatever it is comes with uh, Doom 1, 2, and 3. So downloading all that took, took a bit. I'm doing fairly well here, but uh, of course I'm going to succumb, I imagine, to the infamous skill decrease when <clears throat> filming and trying to uh, maintain the flow of dialogue. I appreciate the new subscribers. Don't think I haven't noticed y'all. Always, always good to see some, some new subscribers. Hope you've uh, been woo, enjoying this little detour from the usual content. Listen here, buddy. I'm armed and dangerous. Oh. So I am, uh, we're discussing, in general, Steve Quayle and Alex Jones, the InfoWars crew, and I guess, uh, I guess, uh, figureheads in the truth movement in general, other than Owen Schroyer, perhaps maybe David Knight at some point had said something, but rest in peace, David Knight. Man, I can't believe that, I didn't know, until, uh... Maybe like uh, earlier this this summer, earlier uh, this year. <clears throat> but we're talking about video games, guns, and mass shootings. And uh, we had gotten to the subject of Satanism in games and games going to hell. So my, my next point, ah, oh, there it is, the beloved first aid kit. Oh, thank you. Rack it up, boys. <clears throat> and that's why we're taking a little dip into Doom here. Had to play this for uh, a good 20 minutes, half an hour. <laughs> Because I, ca I didn't save, <laughs> had to start the game over. So I just figured I'd get us roughly around where we were at. I don't even see this guy. Woo, loop de loop Um, and we've got some of the, the bigger, creepier monsters have made their first appearance. So hopefully we'll see some of those. There's one! You mother... Yeah, thought you was gonna shirook in me or whatever. <clears throat> so the next point I wanted to uh, get at a little bit is just the benefits of gaming. Since this is... Uh, since I'm talking about Steve Quayle and, and Alex Jones, and Steve Quayle particularly being a, an older gentleman, my grandfather was actually the guy who introduced me to video games. Started off with flight simulators, actually, on the 
old computer in the in the in the two thousands, the early two thousands. And <clears throat> he had the whole flight simulator rig set up to the computer. I've talked about this briefly before. And uh, just the benefits of gaming for an older person. Maintaining hand-eye coordination. My grandpa was playing video games until his, what, his 80s? He'd, he'd kill me in GoldenEye. I didn't like playing GoldenEye with Grandpa. Let's just put it like that. As soon as his asshole ass figured out where all the weapons were. <laughs> Played a lot of Medal of Honor Rising Sun. Um, and yeah, just maintaining uh, hand-eye coordination. Your mental flexibility. Critical thinking skills. Because... You're also, the sets of problems you're being given to solve are constantly uh, changing, especially when you're jumping around game to game. Even the controls are changing, like I'm struggling to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and for somebody, somebody older just getting into games, you know, something like this is the perfect thing to, uh, to buy. Not Doom 3, but this, uh, Doom Slayers edition here. Where you can start off on the first Doom, classic old school Doom, where you don't even have to worry about looking up or down and, and reloading and shit. And so you can get kind of a, ooh, feel for the first person shooter. Get used to it. <clears throat> and then you can move on to Doom 2 and the difficulty level is ramped up a little bit. And then you can finally get to Doom 3 and you've got the full effect of the modern day graphics. You can start off on a lower difficulty. And hey, now you're moving and grooving. You know what I mean? Plus, the fan bases of these video games. Think of the, the potential to draw new audiences to your own content. Doing a little backtracking here, see if I can get to uh, one of the med kits that I passed. <clears throat> I mean, the potential for commentary, if somebody were like, somebody like Alex Jones, for instance, or to play Mass Effect. You know, sit through the Mass Effect games every every week you put out a little hour or two hour long let's play Alex Jones's let's play of Mass Effect. Everybody who uh, the uh, conversation about aliens and stuff and ancient civilizations all the stuff in the Joe Rogan Experience podcast that kind of conversation so you know he would have all kinds of interesting shit to say and all kinds of interesting reactions as he would be playing through that game. And the same thing goes for Steve Quayle if he were to, to try to get into Doom and, and put out a stream of him playing Doom. All the, all the biblical knowledge he has, ability to be like, oh yeah, that's a real satanic... Uh, thing that you're looking at there. Oh no, that's just like a Hollywood fake Satan thing that's not real. You know what I mean? All the context he can provide. 
once again. And and the video game fan bases, I mean, come on, gamers, you know us, we, we know us gamers. The video game fan bases are good fan bases to have on your side. The gamers don't mess around. When, when gamers get behind a cause, you've got a... You've got a pretty, uh, <clears throat> reliable, um, army of activists there. Gamers will fucking, you know, swarm. You seen Gamergate? Huh. That was just gamers buying fucking GameStop stock to troll fucking Wall Street. <clears throat> Holding off the accursed DRM, no used games, can't fuck. Look, us gamers, you may not know this, Jones and Quail, have been battling our own aspects of the New World Order, manifesting in our own, you know, uh, realm here of gaming. With fucking Microsoft trying to make it. What a, what a New World Order concept that is think about that you will own nothing and be happy microsoft trying to make it so that your console has to constantly be hooked up to the internet and you can't fucking oh that's the guy i saved i think you can't pass a disc to your friend if he puts it in his console it'll say oh we've detected that you didn't pay for this disc You've got you've to pay in order to access the game. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Plus, you know, <clears throat> not that uh, Doom, I don't think, or Mass Effect are particularly online focused games but the amount of uh, meeting people type stuff you know new conversation meeting people around the world that you can get from the various chats of the various online games Good uh, Q and A opportunity. Good source of clips that could go viral. It's good PR in general. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck, but people rant and rave about what's his name, the guy who plays Superman, supposedly uh, almost being late for his. Uh, addition to play Superman because he was raiding in World of Warcraft. I don't really believe that, but whatever. Keanu Reeves seems enthusiastic. People seem to like it, you know? Sad that Cyberpunk had to launch the way that it did. Now this is this is real uh if you if you noticed what just happened there. If you done noticed what just had happened there. <laughs> this is real uh first person shooter action, okay? I I can't st I the the once again with the check that video out if you haven't already. My top ten my top 10 annoying PC gamer stereotypes. <laughs> All this fucking mouse and keyboard bullshit. And oh, you got the, uh, the, uh, snap to it, aim assist crap. Like it's fucking GTA 5. Oh, something to drink there. Uh, you know, and it's like... Do you not... 
Do you not know what strafing is? What happened to strafing? Like, I don't know, like... Like what I just did there, snapping two with the... With the shotgun coming around the corner, like... <clears throat> walking sideways and then timing your trigger pull, like what happened? Did we forget how to play video games? <laughs> Millennials. Ah! Uh! Ah! Oh! His buddy was just standing there. Wow. Oh, and it was so long since I had saved. <clears throat> Another thing to consider that you might not consider is that video games are just an amazing way to tell a story. I mean, what medium, what medium can you fuck it up and it sends you back? I mean, you ever went to take a piss watching a movie and then came back and it had rewinded you 45 minutes because you weren't paying attention? You mispronounced a couple of words reading a book and it flipped you back 30 pages because you fucked it up? Or it just wouldn't let you continue. Yeah, you're not good enough at reading. Sorry. You gotta get good. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. The only thing you could really compare it to as uh Yahtzee Croshaw has pointed out too many times is like a choose your own adventure book. Ah, keep on circling back here. Another, ooh, went to scratch my chin and bam. Ooh, some health. Gotta get that. Thermoses of health. Mm. Fuck. Damn it. Another thing which is funny because it pertains to specifically. Alex Jones and Steve Quayle kind of or podcast type content Joe Rogan being another fucking guy oh shit forgot Joe Rogan well I guess we'll throw Joe Rogan in here we'll we'll probably make another part of this later throw Joe Rogan in here <clears throat> but uh Oh, gotcha. Another thing pertaining to that type of long-form content. Information intake. Long-term information intake. Is, uh, just the stimulating, the mental stimulation of a video game. Not necessarily a first-person shooter like this, but something like uh, Fallout or Grand Theft Auto 
Grand Theft Auto especially in Fallout. Just because of the radio. So you're already accustomed to having something playing in the background. So like... You know, maybe you can... Maybe you can listen easily to... To one three hour... Joe Rogan experience episode and... Or a uh, episode of the Alex Jones show. <clears throat> but the added staying awake and focusing factor of keeping busy with a game, I find, allows me to be able to focus and take in the info longer than I normally would be cruising around listening to whatever as if it was the radio in GTA as opposed to just sitting there fuck I gotta advance cause there's somebody shooting me through the doorway ah oh, oh, so many but you know what I'm saying like I definitely can <clears throat> listen to stuff and take in info a lot longer while cruising around in GTA focusing keeping my keeping my focus with you know keeping my hands busy doing something than I could just sitting there with the shit playing <clears throat> but that goes for any that goes for any uh multitasking You know, so, podcasts and multitasking, always great. But video games especially, because, you know, you're not, you're not physically wearing yourself out, so if your intent is, is to, uh, damn it, <laughs> should have saved. <clears throat> so if your intent is to, like, you know, binge a whole shit ton of intel all at once, then it can be helpful. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to reach um, I suppose I will revisit Doom once I have played uh, a bit more of this one and played through some of the new one and give my fuller impressions. The only thing I would... I would say right now, as I've only played a little bit of them, is that I don't really like the the way uh, the way stuff comes out of fallen enemies loot when you kill them, and it's just like. Glowing bullshit bouncing all over the place. Neon glowing bullshit bouncing all over the place. Like, I much prefer this. Just a... Just a set of armor sitting there. It breaks my... If, if you were shooting enemies and... Bullets and other stuff was just falling and it wasn't glowing... That would be one thing. But it just kind of breaks my immersion that I shoot some guy and then he blows up like a pinata. Neon glowing fucking magazines and shit fly all over the place. I guess that's uh, all I got to say for now on that note. Uh, got a few more videos coming. Like and subscribe if you please. I appreciate you. And as always, have an awesome day.